Alright, what's up everybody, and welcome to the dungeon. We're just about ready to get started here. I hope you all were enjoying the MIDI tunes from James Paddock. And yeah, the the sound font, or just the overall quality really of that version, is really nice to listen to. It's the YouTube upload that I found. But in-game, we will be listening to the actual MIDI from the WAD that the MIDI wad or whatever that you put on to the Plutonia 2 wad. Uh, yeah, let's see here. Alright, what's up everybody and welcome to the dungeon. We are ready to get started with some more Plutonia 2. Enjoy my messy bed because I don't give a fuck. I am angry tonight. I had to deal with some shitty customers today some big shitty customers but cheers and uh let's get on with the killing <sighs> all right so last time we streamed this i only got like maybe a level or two past where I was last time. <clears throat> I think I'm still on map 19. Hecknology. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's gotta be a meme. Oh, it was 420 last time I played. Ah, uh, which one though? Fuck. I'll save. I'm gonna assume... Oh, wow, okay. Nine, ten minutes in. Six, let's just go from this one. I remember this level was being quite the big pain in the ass. Yeah, okay. This is where I wanted to continue from. I kind of remember trying to clear out these rooms here. Fucking arch vile. He's just right down there, okay. Yeah. It's gonna take a good minute to get through this wad. Damn, I always forget to include it there in the title. <clears throat> because we're not playing regular Final Doom tonight, we're playing Plutonia 2. As you can plainly see. <laughs> Alright. Let's continue. I'm already 33 health. It's like 20 health in like a second. You want to do a MIDI of an Eternal song? Hey, you do you, bro. Damn. Look at that, that's ridiculous. 72 to 52 in like second. Yes, this is a difficult one, for sure. Music's banging, though. Just so hesitant on like running through there. That arch file hasn't even. Oh, there he is. There's like another way into that area. Ah. 
doesn't look like it. What a fucked up angle to try and fight this thing at. Oh, and he's resurrecting things, motherfucker. I think we did it. Yeah, hell yeah, and we have more health than we did when we started. Perfect. This takes us back up here. Oh wait, where is this? Yeah. Faces us the other direction, though. I never used mouse look and doom. But yeah, the angle there. The mouse look would have helped a little, but it's still a flat sprite that I'm aiming at, so either way it's a little fucky. Uh, GZ Doom, yes, actually, I'm using uh, GZ 4.2. It's alright. The 420, if you will. Oh god. Oh, well, I think we're fucked. <laughs> At least I saved after clearing out this room here. Stopped after level 21. We're almost to that level. It's very fun. <laughs> Definitely mouse look recommended. Uh, how about no, Mr. Doom guy? I do not use mouse look in Doom because that's... I used to, but that was after I thought like, oh, an FPS. You should be able to look up and down. I did that for a while and it was cool, I guess, but it really just steps further away from the like the feeling that got me hooked on this game originally. Because when you're looking up and down, that adds a completely different like dimension to the movement. But doing this, it just I feel like I'm on like this tank that's just like hovering and it's got a perfect <laughs> horizontal aim. <laughs> But it's got the auto-aim thing you rely on. But that's just how the game felt. Only left and right, I meant. Of course! Ow. But mouse look technically means looking up and down. Like, that's what it was called back in the day, was mouse look. It wasn't called free look, it was just called mouse look. Because you're looking, instead of turning, I guess. That's my logic there, I'm not sure why they called it that. I should probably have saved before this started. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, let's see if we can make our way back in there, huh? Let's grab the ammo and shit down here. Didn't even see all this. I did. Grabbed it the first time around. Do I have a favorite wad? Uh, 
never really thought of that. Um, my favorite wad? It's really hard to say. Uh, this might be one of them. Because I've played through this one before with some buddies. How about you only using the keyboard? I can do that if you want, but people have complained. <laughs> like right now I'm using the keyboard. I used to play like that too. I used to only play like that. I, that's how I started playing for years. I can still play like that. It's just... Gotta go fast. <laughs> Have I checked out TNT 2... Uh, TNT 2... Oh, fuck. I forgot about that. TNT 2... Devolution. Devolution? Oops, I meant revolution. Revolution. Uh, I'm not sh uh, No, I don't think so. Wasn't too much of a fan of... Evolution. <laughs> Which is the original TNT one. It, it it was more cryptic than it was enjoyable, opposed to Plutonia, I feel, which was more just really fucking hard, like with the action and stuff. I didn't find myself just running aimlessly for hours, like I did in Plutonia. Yeah, so I haven't checked out any custom TNT wads. Though, this is the third, I think, um custom Plutonia wad that I've played through uh, with my buddies, mainly. Secret in this room. I have to shoot the switch? How the fuck? <laughs> I don't think I can do that. Oh! Wow, we did it! Fuck yeah! Whoa, whoa. Whoa! Jeezy Doom took a big shit on me there. <sighs> yeah, that was weird. It like froze and then I kept running forward for some reason. But we found that secret. Definitely a save point there. Yeah, I got 200 health. What the fuck? Whoa. <laughs> that was weird. Right on DOS box. Not sure if it's vanilla compatible. I haven't tried that before. Well, I have a blue key. Not sure what to do though. Pretty sure it's vanilla compatible. I would assume so. I don't think any of the maps are that big. Or like, out of the... Ooh, here comes Big Pink Man.
Oh god. Okay, this is what happened before. Fucker. It is. I just checked it. Great. Well, enjoy it. Sounds like a good time. We're drinking something interesting tonight. Um, it's a sour ale, which are usually pretty underrated and overlooked. This one's not bad. It's a little light-ended. It's uh, from Sierra Nevada's Brewing Company. It's called Wild Little Thing. <coughs> Slightly sour ale with uh, guava, hibiscus, and strawberry. It's interesting to say the least. It's a very light, crisp flavor, a little fruity in it. It's not very sweet. It's it's slightly tart. Like, literally, it's slightly sour. Uh, it's pretty good. It's a little pricey, though, for a six-pack of these. It's like $11, I think. 11 12 bucks. A little expensive. But I wanted to try it because I saw the ad today. Yeah, I can see the, the liquid is pink, like the can, which is really interesting. It's a, it's a pink beer. It's pretty dank, gotta say. Speaking of which, I need to grab another one. So, uh, yeah, just hang on. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Hello and welcome back. Cheers as well. Hope you all are having a good weekend. Beer hype. Yeah, this won't be the only thing I'll be drinking tonight. I got a lot of stuff in my fridge. I got these sour ales. I got uh, Mexican chocolate stout. I got some different types of hard kombucha. And then I have some classic old hams lager, which I recently acquired a taste for. It's not bad at all. Chocolate stout. It's good shit, yeah. Um, I usually... You usually see me drinking, like, IPAs and stuff, but... Man, I've been drink I've drinking so many IPAs the past year, I was just like, I need something different, you know what I mean? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I still love them, but I can't drink them every day like I used to. Gotta venture out. Yo, 24 Rusty, thank you for the follow. And welcome to the dungeon, I hope you enjoy your stay. Let's continue. Right, I had a blue key and I was running around aimlessly with it. As usual. Right, here we go.
Nice. Then we just gotta take care of all these fucks. I was trying to get this guy with the tracers, but the BFG didn't work out. I'm not sure what happened there. I'm still not a master with it yet. You know, I was playing Doom 64 recently, and it's amazing how much easier it is to kill the lost souls in that game. You can literally shoot them with one regular shotgun. Yo, thanks for the follow there, and welcome to the dungeon. Um, yeah, you can... What was I saying? The lost souls in Doom 64, you can shoot them with just a single barrel shotgun once, and they'll blow up. But in this one, it takes like two or three, and then one blast from the, the SSG. It's like, holy fuck. Interesting little change they did there. I actually liked it a lot. <laughs> I don't like wasting so much ammo on these flamey skull boys. Well, I mean, that's how the new port is. I haven't played my actual cartridge in a while. So I'm not sure how accurate that is, but that's how the uh, the new port of Doom 64 is, yeah. Don't Lost Souls have less health than the normal than 64? I'm not sure, because you definitely can't blast them with one shotgun blast. Thus proving my point. It takes about two. Stuck in Doom 64. Total should be 100 and normal 64 has less. You have the Switch copy? Hey, nice. Yeah, I got it on my Switch too. Uh, I thought, because I, I have the actual cartridge, like I said, and I still have my N64 hooked up that I play occasionally, but, um, yeah, I got it for the Switch just because, I mean, what else are you going to buy on the fucking Switch besides Doom and maybe that Untitled Goose game or something, you know, like, <laughs> Switch doesn't have a whole lot of great games, but there's a couple cool ones. Right, but Dusk isn't on Switch yet. I've looked. Trust me. <laughs> it's not there yet. Apparently they're releasing a... Uh, what's it called? Da -da -da -da. Fucking 3D Realms. Ion Mario. Ion Maiden. Ion Fury. Whatever the fuck that game's called. They released that on... Or they're releasing it on Switch soon. Holy shit. Look at this that we've stumbled into. How am I going to get out of this one? Well, I'm probably not. Oh, I might. Got enough health. I don't know what to do other than just... Well, they seem secluded. Maybe I can just spam them. Thank fuck for having enough rockets. Got the fucking Baron squad up in here. Oh, that's what I was running away from. Wasted the health. Could have used it there. They should release Duke Nukem 64. Hey, there's an idea. And then maybe it'd be cool if they could, like, you know, add music into that. Hey, look at him go. Look at him go. Who's going to win? Come on, guys. They're trying to fight each other, but this dumbass just keeps running around. Yeah, add music tracks, because I got Doom 64... Uh, sorry, Duke Nukem 64 is another cartridge I have, actually, in the big box. I would show it off, but it's in the other room, and I'm lazy. Um, yeah, there was no music. Anyone remember that? I don't. <laughs> but yeah, there's no music. It sucks. It's funny because people tell me, oh, that was a great port. But, like, everyone just forgot that it doesn't have music. How do you not have music in Duke Nukem 64? That was, like, a huge part of how good it was. Just like Doom, or this. This has great custom minis, honestly. I, I like it. like it a lot. This one and the 
uh, the fan-made plutonium middies are really fucking great. Okay. I guess that boy got me there. I forgot about him. Fuck. And I took all the health packs in here already. God damn it. Only I could get to that super. I don't think he can get out of there for whatever reason. I got nine health. You think I got this? Hit him, coach. Hey, we got 34. It's funny, I haven't heard the word coach in a while. Doom 64, Doom 2. Are you talking about the wad called Doom 64 in Doom 2? Uh, I played through that wad, it's, it's alright. 34 health. That's a, that's a sh big shit. Fighting! Get him! Whoa! Another well, Baron won. Who would have guessed? God damn it! Running low on rockets. Running low on fucking health. I got 13, man. I'm just running around like a madman. What? <laughs> That's a fucking. He's free! Oh no! <laughs> What's the most definitive version of Doom 1? Why did demons fight each other in Doom? It's called infighting, it's fun! That was insane, okay. Note to self, Cyber Demon. Cybo Demo. Coming at ya. What the fuck's that key? Those aren't keys, those are lights. That's neat, I guess. Okay. I... I need more health. I really don't feel like doing all that fighting before over again. Demon slaps other demon, other demon hates demon. And demons punch each other. There you go. What's the most definitive version of Doom 1? I'm not sure what you mean. Like, the best one? It's kind of a relevant question now, considering that there's Bethesda ports. Good fucking god. I would recommend the Doom Wad. Like, you know, like, just use the Doom Wad with your preferred source port. I recommend Jeezy Doom for modern computers. Z Doom for slightly modern computers, and Chocolate Doom for retro computers. Like Brutal Demon Final Doom? I'm not sure what you mean there, but Brutal. Uh, what's Brutal Demon, my dude? Enlighten me here. <laughs> oh, Brutal Doom. I, I, yeah, I know, I know what Brutal Doom is. But yeah, that's a, that's kind of just, that's a mod. I was never into Brutal Doom. Um, but yeah, Doom 1 is the ultimate Doom, or just Doom without thy flesh consumed, which would have been the original retail release version. Uh, like I said, just use the wad with your preferred source port. And I named off the ones I like. Crispy Doom's cool too if you're trying to go for that really retro feel with the modern computer. Um, but I like Z Doom for like Windows XP, Windows 7 era, uh, GZ Doom for Windows 10, uh, for like a uh, beefy Windows 98's good with like Chocolate Doom 1.2, you know, because it still runs and it's great. Xandronum's godly for multiplayer. I agree with you 100%. <laughs> Brutal Doom is the only way to play Doom. <laughs> Mr. Duke is trolling. He's doing the big troll. Don't listen to him. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, I, I need more health, but I don't want to go like so far back that I have to go before all the fighting. Looks like I'm gonna have to do that. It's a good thing I have that other save just in case this is too. F this is so far back. I don't know if I can pull off all that again. Maybe we can like try and comb the level for some health. It's gotta be health somewhere. I'm gonna have to look into it more. <laughs> I hope you're not replying to Steel Duke. Did the Soul Sphere secret kind of help? It did at the time, but now my health's below 50, and I would really need another uh, soul, soul Sphere. S soul Sphere. There's one. I don't know how to get to it. That would be really helpful right now. Can I even go back is the real question. There should be a switch in the room with the Cyber Demon. Appreciate the tips. So that's this room? Or you mean the room that the Cyber Demon comes out of? Which is this god awful fucking door right there. Damn, I really can't do shit. This is weird. They kind of trapped me in here. Well, that means I'm going to have to defeat the Cyber Demon and the people that come out. <laughs> people. The foes that spawn out of hell. Uh, I guess I can try to do that first. Okay, they came in here and pushed me out here. These guys are over here. Let's try to just fight them in the hallway because they can't go around me. I'm not going to be using my rockets on the Cyber Demon. I have enough cells. Uh, yeah, if I need to, I'll use Super Shoddy. Okay. Got them. Read the Doom comic. Rip and tear! Yeah, but that term has been bastardized. Um, the comic's pretty silly, to be honest with you. It's pretty cool, but... I don't know, it's... I think they could have done better. It's... It's ridiculous. He's just, like, obsessed with gore. I mean, that's cool and all, but... It makes the Doom guy look a little weird. It's pretty cool, though. It's silly. Roids on blood. Blood on roids. It's like blood on steroids. You mean bloids on red? Blood. Bro <laughs> I. <can't. laughs> I did like the artwork though. Yeah, the artwork was cool. Blood on roids is what? Is that what you mean? Like the game blood on steroids? Hey, we're gonna be streaming blood soon. I just got it set up again on DOSBox. Cause fuck fresh supply. That shit is ridiculous! Okay. I'm sure a lot of people are like, what? What do you mean? <laughs> That's a rant for another time. I gotta focus. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Well, I would have got him if I didn't die. Alright, so what happened other than customers being customers? <laughs> like, Doom Guy is on roids and just put chest blood. <laughs> Asking me about my, my day today. Oh, well, I can explain that in a bit. Just give me a second. I gotta get this Cyber Demon. This is becoming too much. Seriously, what the fuck? Let's get it all. Got him in three hits. Hey! 
Toxaz is Toxaz Toxazity. <laughs> Toxicity? Hey, thanks for the subscribe, bro. Appreciate it. Welcome to the dungeon. Hope you enjoy your stay. We like to play a lot of Doom and Quake. Okay. Sometimes I can get it in two, sometimes it takes three. That 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 was late. Straight bullshit. I fucking swear. I like how I missed all of those. How am I just having such terrible luck? The first time I killed him in three hits, but then I died from one of his rockets. And now I just cannot do it. You know who this is. Now what happened? I don't know who you are. <laughs> and I said, hang on! I need to kill this cyber demon. Fuck yeah. 14 health. So you can wait on my rant on the shitty customers because I need to focus. And you're distracting me. Look up. Oh, so close. Bro. I, I get that I'm getting hit by the third shot, but he should be dead by that time. Plus I'm... Not really. It's Glenn! How am I supposed to know who you are when you keep changing your name? Nine health! <laughs> this is like the fourth time you've changed your name. <laughs> but hey, welcome to the stream, bro. Happy you're having a good time. Cheers. Yeah, this customer I dealt with today was a piece of shit, dude. And I, it's crazy because... <coughs> I've been dealing with them like all weekend. It's like I just can't escape the shit. I don't remember that one. The last time I remember you changing your name, it was like Sinistar or some shit. That's way too many shots. The tracers are not doing shit. <laughs> I was splattered. The tracers didn't even work right there. It's so weird. It's very wonky. I've never been good with the BFG. There we go, but I wasted a shot, but you know what? We got some ammo. We didn't lose any health. We're good. You're working on some art for me. Okay, that's cool. You know, whatever floats your boat. I uh, wonder what it is. 34 health. Fuck. It's the... Okay, it's... No, I loaded! Fuck! <laughs> oh, damn it! Have you played Doom 2016? O-N-W-T. Onwards. I liked Doom 2016. Apparently you forgot about our conversation as well. Bro, I can't even remember what I had for breakfast. <laughs> uh, have I played Doom 2016 and on? Yes, uh, I liked Doom 2016. I thought it was cool because it broke the trend at the time. In gaming in general. I've gone on this rant a million times before. But, um... Did I really just load this? Is... It's really way the fuck back here! God! Damn! Wait. Okay. We're saved. We're saved. What about Eternal? Why do you gotta ask me about that? <laughs> It's something we discussed on what you want. I think I know what you're talking about now. Maybe I made a request from you to do thing that I want. 
Sounds about right. Cool, man. Awesome. Can't wait. Um. <laughs> Doom 2016 was cool. I've gone on the Doom 2016 Doom Eternal rant so many times. It's going to be a minute. I got to have a couple more beers before I get on that one. So we're just going to have to hold that thought. Because I'm still fighting this goddamn cyber demon. Gotta die sooner or later. You motherfucker. That one took like four. I'm not... Mm, you know, I don't know how I feel about the whole randomly generated damage thing in Doom. I don't know how many of you um, are aware that the damage output... Fuck yeah. And input is completely randomly generated. Like, within certain values, so... <sighs> yada yada. I also have a surprise and have a hard time not telling you. You have a surprise and have a hard time not telling you. Well, hey, I mean, no pressure. <laughs> I didn't ask, so I'll let it be a secret. Or I haven't asked yet, I guess, but yeah. You do you. Let me see it when it's done. Alright, so look at that. We got a little bit more health. It isn't art related. Well, that's interesting. Doom 2016 Cyber Demon Thoughts. Um... That's a very interesting and oddly specific question, but I will go ahead and answer that one for you. The uh, Cyber Demon in Doom 2016 I thought was a really... It's mixed, honestly. The boss fight itself I had a, I had a lot of fun with. I thought it was very uh, arcade-like feeling, but in the good way, S certain parts. Uh, certain parts, I must stress. I wasn't a fan of the whole, like walls coming up and then you were forced to just stand there and hop. The concept of hopping over waves of energy at certain frequencies is awesome because it reminds me of Spyro and classic games with boss fights such as such. Um, you know, it, it's fun to play it without the health bar because it feels a little bit like classic Doom. I like dodging stuff more like with the arena. But it, it was fun. It was a fun concept. The, the boss fights in Doom 2016 I genuinely enjoyed for the most part. Um, 2016 I thought was a solid game. It wasn't too emphasis on the story, and it didn't go too far out of bounds, I guess. And then Eternal comes along, and Doom Guy is like a fucking uh, celebrity, and he's like got his own castle, and he plays guitars and shit. So I, <laughs> that's that's as far as I'm going for the time being. Uh, do you know who S Stephen White? Stephen Stephen? Why it is? I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. But I know that we just comp beat the Cyber Demon. Got the supercharge, and that looks like the fucking exit. Just in case it's a trick or some fucked up shit like that, I'm gonna save right here. Because we got good armor, good health, good ammo. Fuck yeah, it's the exit. Cheers. The voice actor for Caleb from Blood. That's what his name is? That's really cool. I like that voice actor because I love Blood and I like Caleb. It's a great protagonist. What's the band on your shirt? This is Deicide. Old school death metal. I was listening to them earlier and I decided, hey, I should put the shirt on for the stream in case someone decides to recognize it or ask me about it. Interesting. I need another beer as well. The alcohol is beginning to flow. And so is the night. Lurking fear is this level here. Might like your surprise then. What the fuck? <laughs> now, now that's interesting. Okay, don't spoil it anymore because now you got me excited. Oh god, this level. 
Yeah, well, we'll figure out what this level is after a short break. I need to grab another beer and go to the bathroom, so hang tight and enjoy the tunes. Actually, I'm going to put on the YouTube video again. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. Thank you for sticking around, those who did. Um, so that beer I was just drinking, I poured it into a glass so I could show you just how pink it is. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> you can see my face here. <laughs> but Look at that. What the fuck? It's pink. It's a pink beer. Pretty damn good. It's the uh, slightly sour from Sierra Nevada's brewery. It's uh, called Little Wild Thing. 
apparently it's supposed to be like a spin-off of their little hazy thing, but it's not a hazy beer, it's a sour ale. It's made with hibiscus, guava, and strawberries. And it's fucking pink. Look at this shit. It's fucking pink. This is pink. This is a beer. <laughs> All right. Let's get back to the killing. As I always say, let's get on with the killing. Those of you who used to use Games by 3D back in the day will know that reference. Okay, so... Pink drink, heal yeah, brother! <laughs> the brand, or brewery you mean, is Sierra Nevada. Done with CTF, that was intense. What kind of beer? I missed it. Oh, Steel Duke, what's up? You're back. It's a sour, dude. Sour ale from... Uh, you probably already seen it. I'm just late, but here we are. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> well then. We got, uh... We got revenants all around us. Yeah, my face in the glass, I know. I just noticed that a minute ago, too. Oh. It's fucking good, dude. It's a good pink beer. I'm so intimidated by all these revenants. Should I just, like... <laughs> what happened? Where'd they go? <laughs> oh my god. What is going on here? Oh wow. It's one of those levels. Oh, I forgot about this level. Holy shit. Fuck, I did not see that following me. Yeah, this map. You're the second person to say that. I would think you need a theme for your stream as well. Not sure what you mean by theme. stuff teleporting all around. Thoughts on Resident Evil? Bro, I love Resident Evil. I'm a big fan of the Resident Evil games. The old ones, though. I don't... I don't like the new ones. Sorry. I'm one of those, uh... Old thing good, new thing bad kind of guys, as the kids are saying nowadays. Uh, hot takes. <laughs> Ah, pink beer, good. Mm. 
Oh, fuck. Wow, this floor texture actually hurts me. New thing bad. You said it. Well, I thought I could kill these imps in one shot, but that, that didn't... There, I got that one. Oh boy, I hear the grumble grumble of the archvile. The remakes are fine. No, they're not. They are sh shit. Big shit. Big fucking heap of shit. Big poopy shit. Big ol' shit right on your bed. Right on your pillow. <laughs> I fucking hate them. I didn't even buy the Art Resident Evil 3 remake. I bought... I didn't buy the second one either. I played the second one because my friend let me borrow their library. And I fucking hated it. I got a video on that if you want. I'm not going to go on that rant right now. You can check that out on my YouTube. But as for the third game... Um... It, it looks just like the second game. And then I heard it's like half of it was taken out. And then blah 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 blah. I haven't heard a damn thing good about it. Five hours of gameplay. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, dude, I played them and I loved them. They were so cool. Some of my favorite games of all time. <laughs> Never played Outbreak on PS2. Outbreak. I think Outbreak... Outbreak on PS2? Yo, what's up, Puda? Welcome. How you doing there? I don't know what Outbreak is. Resident Evil Outbreak? I like 1, 2, 4 is okay, 3 is cool. Uh, I only own it on my PS3. As like a PlayStation original download. It's fucking hard. Never beat it. <laughs> so negative. Yeah, I'm negative because I have an opinion. Surviving in your underwear. Well, that's good. At least you're surviving in something. Some people are surviving in something that's not underwear, and you should be thankful for having underwear. I don't know whatever the fuck they're saying nowadays. I'm doing okay. I'm getting sick of uh, working with customers, though, I tell you that. I love my job, but I fucking hate people. I hate them so much. I fucking hate people so fucking much. They're horrible. They're disgusting. They're rude. They're fucking filthy and stinky. It was a Resident Evil outbreak. Part of a group of survivors escaping Raccoon City before it's nuked. Retail? Uh, I'm not sure. Haven't heard of that one. They're rough, coarse, and they get everywhere. <laughs> it's rough, and it's coarse, and it gets everywhere. I hate them. I killed them. I killed them like animals. The, the women, and the children, too. <laughs> I hate them. I love that scene. I've always wanted to like like get a sample of that scene where Anakin's talking about what he did to the sand people and just have like grindcore playing after it. Like write a grindcore song cuz I could do that cuz I've been in bands that play music and stuff so I know how to do the thing, but I'm just too fucking lazy. Yeah, retail. Oh, ask about my job. Yeah, I work at a liquor retail store, specifically. Cheers. They're like animals, and I slaughter them like animals.
but not just the men. Hey, that comes down. But the women and the children, too. Well, I... Oh. I feel like I totally just wasted that. I have a lot of health and ammo, though, and I'm feeling the big silly, so let's just run around aimlessly like this. Like a chicken with his fucking head cut off. Apparently I haven't been over here yet. Well, I guess I have. Fuck! Work in a warehouse! My first job is a warehouse, and everyone picked on me because I wore tight pants, and have long hair, and had shirts that had satanic imagery on them. <laughs> I must be in a terrible person, right? I worked at Walmart too! You know that story, Buddha. You know what's funny though, when I worked at Walmart, the customers loved me. I was very nice and very professional. But, um... My coworkers, I just got... I fucking hated them. I would get in arguments with them all the time. I would yell and scream at them. It was terrible. Third shift in stock. I had second shift, so we were the, uh, truck unloaders. That shit sucked. Not allowed to wear my satanic t-shirts at work. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, I'm actually not either since I'm, you know, in retail now. Um, I just wear a black shirt, black pants. And my Nike shoes. <laughs> Gotta keep it classy, you know what I'm saying? Play the level. I don't know where to go! I wear the uniform... That's nothing but blue. Oh, that sucks. What's this? What is that? What did it do? There's an arrow here. Do the thing. What did that do? That just... What? Hey, those things are going up. Blue key! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Uh, yeah, that's a fuck. Hey, look! Oh, here they come. Oh, come on, come on. Go up, go up, go up. Why does that take so long? Well, there's a lot of boys. A lot of angry demon boys after my blood, and I'm about to die. Ah, <sighs> fuck. Managers are assholes, and my coworkers are mostly drug addicts. Yeah, I know how that is. Play the level. I wear the uniform to up the lift, I think. Yeah, it appears I figured out where to go, but I just died. And there's a Cybo Demo over there. Fuck, really? That's not gonna do. Work colleagues do nothing but make it worse. Work colleagues, yeah. I know what you mean. Coworkers. Yeah, they make it worse. They suck. I fucking hate them. No, I don't hate it. Mine are actually pretty cool now. It's the customers that really suck. But in my previous jobs, um, yeah, the coworkers sucked. Holy shit! Bro! Bro, what the fuck? This is insane. Oh, the pinky gets the right of the fucking lift, but I don't. Good fucking god. Let me. Uh, I gotta go. I gotta go over here and take some cover. Something. Fucking hell. All right. So found a safe spot.
Yeah, this map's nuts. Wish that you had Doom Guy's job? I don't think you wish you had this job. Unless you mean Doom Guy's actual job, where he would sit around and be a, do nothing. Before, oh no, he was a marine. He went on the front lines and then he disobeyed his commanding officer. Da, 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 put him in the. Then he later got a security job, I think, or something. I don't remember, but we just killed ourselves. Fuck. <laughs> The music, it it plays the exact tone that you feel when you play this map. Duke Nukem's job? Does he have a job? I think his job is just save the world, right? And be buff. That's his job. He gets, he gets recognition for that. We all want that job. Bro, can I get a break? Let me pass. Oh my god, there's revenants everywhere. Oh fuck! Well, I have a lot of rockets. There's got to be a better way to do this. I want to rip and tear. Looking alien ass? <laughs> what? <laughs> kicking. Oh, it said kicking. <laughs> <laughs> That <laughs> shows you what's on my mind. I have a blue key! Why can I not open the blue door? Bruh! Fuck! <laughs> Looking alien ass. Sign me up. Hey, look at this. I think we made- Oh, my fuck! Look at that! Look at the bobbing head behind the wall. Do you know what that is? That's a fucking arch file. <laughs> it could be a revenant, which would be a lot better, but by the tone of the skin and the shape of the head, I have a feeling that it's an arch file. I'm very scared. Flame boy. Oh god. Yep, that's that's definitely an arch file. I have BFG though. You're right. But I also have rockets. I like to save the BFG for emergencies only. Cuz obviously that was no <laughs> I was freaking out over nothing. No worries. Oh, come on. I like the music a lot on this map. Not gonna lie to ya. Yeah, you fucking spider cunt. Let me down, you pink fucks!
There's the Cybo. Bruh, who the fuck? <laughs> ah. You fucker. <sighs> How many fucking rockets, bro? He's still alive. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I missed everyone. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I gotta wear a face mask at work. That's actually why I shaved my beard off. If you haven't, you know, if you didn't know what I looked like before that, I had a giant beard going for me, and it sucks because wearing that mask with the beard was not not anything within my interest. So I had to. I had to cut it off to, you know, comfort over looks right now. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Is that even hurting him? Can I even hurt him through here? Yes, I can. He's bleeding. I see that. And there's a cyber demon over there. It's, it's fucking amazing. I got seven health. Do you guys think I can do it? <laughs> Had to shave yours clean off. I feel you. Wearing a full face mask in a warehouse is hot quickly. Yeah, dude, it really is. I mean, I'm not in a warehouse anymore, but I'm in a retail store, and I, I stock my shelves. I lift cases of beer all day sometimes, so I know how it is. Breathing, heavy breathing in that is not fun. Yep, we got N95 masks, too. It was impossible with the beard. That's what happened. And I had to shave it off. And now here I am. <laughs> if your heart rate goes up, just pass out. It's impossible to get them here. My grandparents acquired them somehow. I'm not sure how, but they got them. Which is cool, I guess, but fuck, dude. Man, this this part of the level feels like working retail during COVID-19 ep epidemic. <laughs> you literally have everything fucking you at once. <laughs> and you gotta make precision choices and able to get past the thing but you lose your patience and just end up dying not worth going anywhere anyway honestly I never went anywhere as it was I my life has not changed other than now my job sucks and it was awesome I'm gonna buy a Balkava if I end up having to wear a mask going out Baklava I think that's what it's called ba Balakava ba Balaklava Balak Lava. I, I, I've heard that before. I don't know what the... F I know what you're talking about. I know the warehouse. I work in sales of food, so it's essential. Yeah, we sell alcohol and consumables, so... We gotta do it, too. Um... I gotta go to the bathroom really quick. My apologies. I've been drinking. Um...
Hello everybody, and welcome back to the stream. Thank you for sticking around, those who did. Hope you're having a good time. Let us continue with Plutonia 2. Let's get my shit straight. There we go. We need Romero to come back. Bro, where'd he go, though? Where's Romero? He's still making wads. And I'm gonna be honest, Sigil was cool, but it's. It really isn't that cool compared to something like this. I'm gonna be completely straightforward with you all right now. I like Sigil. But was it worth $180 for me to spend on that beast box that I opened one time, that I played three times, technically four? Absolutely fucking not. You don't know of Sigil? I mean, if you don't know about it, it's definitely worth it checking out. It's very cool. But it's not worth the money I paid for the physical copy. Uh, Sigil is John Romero's latest Doom mod that was released last year. I think. Yeah, it's gotta be last year. It is a unofficial... But you could call it official. Episode 5 to the Ultimate Doom. That is called Sigil. It's free to download. Look it up. It's worth a playthrough if you haven't done it already. It's not the best whatever, but it's pretty neat. The old boy Romero's getting old, though. I think that's really what's going on there. Because, like, this wad... This wad is so good. And it's not just good because I like it good. It's good because it's challenging, it's interesting, it doesn't get boring or repetitive, it's always full of surprises, the the, the atmosphere is spot on with the first Plutonia wad, it, it, like, it's just, it's, holy shit, like, it's there, the middies, James Paddock, bless his soul. This level's crazy. Be <laughs> barren of shit. I'm really trying to perfect the way I come into this part. Because it's not working out for me. Chain gunner got me, wow. Yeah, I hear people talking about uh, the sequel to Sigil. You know what would be really neat if uh, Romero did a Doom 2 wad as a sequel to Sigil instead of another Ultimate Doom wad? I think that'd be neat.
The chain gunner is fucking crazy, man. Nonsense! We don't need your sniper rifle. I just need to get good. Got him. I fucking did it. played uh, Wrecker? No, actually, I've never heard of that game.
Fuck, where do they keep- No! Fuck! Viking-themed, standalone Doom Walk. Sounds cool, I guess. Fuck, dude, I gotta do that all over again. I have an idea. I was so fucking close, man. So fucking close. Look at all of that protection that I'm so... I died and I'm looking at ammo, rad suit, health, and the super power up. Faked you. Did I like the new Doom? No. What's up, Connor? How you doing, bro? <laughs> I knew that- FUCK! I knew that name was familiar. Yeah, I already went on that rant like three times tonight. Okay, so the, the key here... Son of a bitch, one health. No health. Alright, how did I do this? God damn it. God, fuck, God! <laughs> Gotta run out here. Running down here, grabbing the ammo, losing tons of health. Okay, and then I go over here. Get the green armor. Right, 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 right. Thank you. Forgot about that. Fuck. What I really need to do is go back and find that Berserk pack so I can get an insta on 100 health.
Come on, you fucking piece of shit. Finally. Holding flying meatballs. Yo, red eyes. <laughs> What's good? Welcome to the stream, brother. I was like, what? Who is it? What is this guy talking about? Then I realized the name. I need health! I need it! I need the big health, big bad. Am I going to try to jump again? I don't think so, after the way it went that last time. Fuck, look at all the pink boys. Oh boy, I'm getting shot at too. This is the big fucked. Can I go in here? Okay. Bro, I got four health. We got 86 armor, so it's all good. Please don't die! Oh, you son of a bitch! God damn it, no! Steel Duke, you want me to save with 9 health? Is saving with 9 health really worth it? Hey, Red Eyes, check out my pink beer, bro. It's pink, it's, it's new. Look at that, it's fucking crazy. You see my face. <laughs> Nine health is badass. <laughs> God damn it, I'm back here, son of a fucking Gah! It's alright, we got this. We did we've done this five times tonight, we can do it again. Green armor, green armor, green armor. your webcam in front of your beer glass at all times. <laughs> the beer cam. That would be awesome. Having a camera in front of my beer glass at all times would actually be very cool. Like a side one, you know? I put it underneath or on the other side of the, the, the screen there and I'll have it just looking at what kind of beer I'm drinking. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> That's fucking funny, man. The beer goggle cam. <laughs> fucking pink boy hiding, hiding behind the corner there. Like he doesn't want to fight me, but he tries anyway. What? Since when did we even have that key? What? Okay, I guess I... Let's get this guy. Cool. I saved! I saved! I promise I saved. <laughs> hey look, health. Hey, what'd that button do? Hey, there's more health in here. 62. Time to save again. What did I even try to do last time before? Oh, I remember. All these boys.
Did I push that button in here? I don't think I did. There we go. I pushed the yellow button. I got a good amount of health and armor now, so I should be pretty set. Oh shit! Go where you just killed the Baron. This Baron? Other Baron. Fuck. Other Baron? I don't even remember the other Baron. Oh shit! Well, I gotta fight that eventually. Maybe I should just take care of that arch vial. You know, lob a couple rockets at him. Look like he gave me enough of a window. There's more than one! There's three arch vials! Good god. And not a single rocket hit him. Alright, I'll deal with that later. Behind the bars. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Okay. Here we are. Can't kill him yet. I believe you. Fuck! Well then. Fuck! Uh, oh, I was trying to telefrag them, but they wouldn't fucking spawn. He's shooting before I even get there! What the fuck is this shit? Bro, this is a whole new kind of challenge. What the fuck is going on? No, don't save. Use chain gun and don't hit the button. Dodge. Fucking God. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Business starts, boys. Yeah. It was a bad save, but you know what? We're going to try and work with it. Fuck. There we go.
totally work with that. Hey man, thanks for coming by and have a good night. Thank you, Mr. Red Eyes. I love Deicide. I was listening to them earlier today and I was like, hey, maybe I should wear the shirt. I like that sound goes <laughs> Yeah, me too. Fuck, dude. I don't, I don't know what to do. Blue door. Fuck, where's the blue door? There's that one door that I had to open with a switch. It's bullshit. Oh, okay. Here's the boys. business. Pancake. <laughs> Smoking a pancake. Fuck. Fuck. Cigar and a waffle. Smoking a pancake, bong and a blitz. Fuck! He's right there! Oh! Oh, hey. Oh. Oh. 
Okay. This is some big bullshit. Oh god. Oh! Fucking supercharge. Ladies and gentlemen. I need to go to the bathroom. Please excuse me. We'll be back in a couple minutes. Don't you go anywhere.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for sticking around. So, we've ran out of pink beer tonight. I got a couple other things in my fridge that I plan on drinking tomorrow. But, since tonight is going so well with the stream, and I'm enjoying myself so much, we're going to bust out a little Glenfiddich. <laughs> got that Glenfiddy 12-year-old. Scotch whiskey. So let's pour ourselves a glass of this peaty ass shit. Mmm. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That is some fine scotch right there. One of my all time favorites so far in my scotch adventures. Yes, I realize that is a hefty glass. I forgot to bring a napkin with me because every time I pour a glass, it drips off the side and I don't want that. I treat my scotch bottles like I treat my video games. With love and care. It's Glenfiddich. Glenfiddich, Glenfiddich. I call it Glenfiddy. 12 year old. So, it's good stuff. Very decent scotch. In indubitably. Would you give that a Glen a 10? <laughs> I would give this Glen at least a 9 out of 10. It's, well, so far it's a 10 out of 10 for the ones that I've drank in. Because I started with Johnny Black, and then I tried a couple other random ones from our store, and then I tried uh, uh, Glen Levitt, didn't really care for it. And then I tried the Glen Fitty. And my friend, this, <laughs> my face is upside down in this one, that's something, huh? <laughs> but, uh, this is good shit. Cheers to everybody, and I hope you're having a good weekend. <sighs> oh, it's so good. I love it. Mm, I miss the scotch. That's tripping me out. Cheers. Alright. Let's continue to where the fuck we were. We're probably gonna get fucked up tonight. I've had, like, Five beers, and now we're starting on the scotch. Okay. Oh, let's go. Kill that Saibo. You got it. Don't like how much health I lost from that. That's not working out for me, is it? I only spawned one. Oh, that's that, that's more than one. I like the Caco Demon up there. The texture, it's pretty fucking awesome. Gotta say. Yeah, the neat stone textures are fucking awesome.
There's fucking Archie down there. That was not the best decision. <laughs> Fuck. Oh man, that is the big tough. <sighs> well, at least we got our Glen Fittix. Ow! Fucking revenant. <laughs> big health. The big bone. Kill that Saibo. Where'd the Saibo go? That Saibo's dead. That Saibo's not dead. That's the Saibo. What the fuck? Oh man. Jeez, dude. Fuck. I guess I left that there. I did not. I. 
was not aware of that. Fuck. This is getting crazy. We got a decent amount left. Map 20. Fuck. Oh my god. <sighs> this is getting tough. But I still have a hefty glass of scotch left. See the bone hole? <laughs> yeah, we thought that looked really weird when I was a kid. I was like, what the fuck is that? Single malt scotch whiskey. The Valley of the Deer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is good shit. I like this scotch so much. I also have a 14 year. This is a 12 year. The original 12. This bright and balanced single malt is matured for 12 years in Loroso sherry and bourbon casks for mellowing in the oak marrying tunes. Oh. Absolutely delicious. 
Every valley has a deer. Does it though? Does it really? Why do I keep getting emails from Rubio's? I've never seen a deer in my neighborhood. The only time I've seen a deer is when I was driving through Texas. There's no deer near my area at all. Northeast type of animal. I think it's like a just a north general, more towards the mountains and stuff. Because like down here there's there's no deer, it's like tropical. had lizards everywhere. There's lizards around here as well. Lots of that stuff, because we're close to Arizona. So it's like desert tropical. It's like a tropical desert. It's weird. Big man. He's a hard man. That doesn't sound very good, but this is very difficult. Fuck, dude. The revenants come if you get too close. If they don't, the cyber demon shoots you. There's rockets coming from all angles. That's a big man. that color. Oh, it's so nice. Love the scotch. It's the nectar. It's like honey. Plubonia. <laughs> Fuck. 
Bro, I've gotten four fucking emails from Rubios in the past, like, ten minutes. What the fuck do they want? What? What do they want? I go to my... I go to my inbox and there's nothing there. They want to know how the WoWs is doing. <laughs> fuck the WoWs, dude. I think it doesn't even sell. It actually is sold. The past 14 days we sold 7 cases and we have 3 left, so... Normally I would have to do a beer order on that, but today when we did the beer orders, I didn't order the Wowza. Cause I fucking hate that guy. And our budget was short, so we had a good excuse. I'm not ordering your fucking Wowza. God damn it. <laughs> hey man, how's the Wowza? Get the fuck out of my store. You shoots looking ass. Guy's probably never had a taste of scotch in his life. For every death you have to drink a wowza, I'd never get drunk. It's a low calorie, low alcohol beer. And I'd, I'd need at least 12 of those to get drunk. Wowza. <laughs> the wowza. <laughs> I was so confused. He probably felt so stupid too, cause like I was trying to just count my fucking beer order. And this rep comes in from Deschutes and he's like, this fat, sweaty, fucking cocky ass guy and he's like, hey man, how's the wowza doing? I looked at him and I, I I looked at him for a second and then I looked back at my paperwork. I said, What? <laughs> what the fuck are you coming in here talking about your wowza? I'm trying to do paperwork and shit. The cyber demon just keeps fucking killing me. It's awesome. There's no escaping these gang of revenants. <laughs> he literally came in and started whipping out his wowza. And I'm like, bro, really? I'm trying to work. Get the fuck out of here with your wowza. No one's buying it. It doesn't even sound good. Like... Where do you get off? This keeps happening. Fucking hell. Even hitting. Oh. This is straight yellow. <sighs> mm. 
A watermelon? Wowza? Why would you say that? There's already watermelon beers. There's a couple. There's got the Lost Coast Watermelon Wheat, and then we have the 21 First Amendment Breweries Watermelon IPA. Seasonal, so get it while it lasts. It's catchy and it's already water, basically. I looked away for one second. Fuck, dude, this is a crazy fucking part. Oh my god. Cybo Devo. Yeah. That's what's fucking us right now, it's the Cybo Devo. Look how big that man is! <laughs> yeah. I hit two or three. What the fuck hit me there? Big man, let me let me hold the dollar. <laughs> what the hell am I doing? What's up, Moose? Welcome to the stream, bro. I'm suffering. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying to fight this damn Cybo Demo, and I've been dying in the same fucking part for like the past 20 minutes. Fuck this! Oh no, not the revenants! Fuck! Dude! <laughs> no. <laughs> the bone zone! Bro! Red eyes, I used to have a picture that I would use for my streams back in the day. Like my first streams. And it was a Morrowind picture and it said, Welcome to the Bone Zone. I gotta find it, bro. I can't believe you just said that. Like, how did you just... Oh my god, what the fuck? Where is it? I can't find it. No. You gotta look at my old videos, man. Welcome to the Bone Zone. Fuck, dude, I used to use that for every stream. That was before I even put them up on YouTube, I think. Fuck. It's gotta be here somewhere. Would it be on this computer? Probably not. Boner Fulker. I don't think it's here. Wait. Might be. Might be in my memes folder. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> Fuck, I can't see it. <laughs> 
because now it's on my third. I'm gonna put it up on the stream. Hold on. <laughs> Gotta turn my third monitor on and fucking bring it over here. I still have it on this computer. Yeah. Welcome. Oh no, it says, oh no, it looks like you just entered the bone zone. <laughs> I used to use this for every stream I would do. This was the welcome image at first. Hang on, let me show you all. I, Because I'm drunk, I don't really care. Here we go. <laughs> uh oh, looks like you just entered the bone zone. Fucking major throwback to my old ass streams, man. Yeah, when I first started streaming, this is what you would see. For like 30 minutes with music playing before I would start my stream. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Okay. That's enough messing around. Let's get back to the game. That's funny as fuck. I can't believe you just... Re I can't believe you reminded me, and I c even more can't believe that I still fucking have it <laughs> on my computer. <laughs> just have it in the corner at all times. <laughs> fuck, dude, I miss the old streaming days. I used to get, like, decent viewers, but I was ridiculous, and I would wear a cloak every fucking stream. I fucked this up already. I really want to fucking get past this part, dude. I've been here for so long. What was that? Four rockets that didn't land a hit at all? And the Hell Knight killed me, of all things. Fuck, dude, we've been at the same Cyber Demon for so long now, it's ridiculous. Berserk punch him, you're fucking insane. I already hit him with nothing, absolutely, like, barely anything at all. Chainsaw him, yeah, good idea. Fighting the Cyber Demon. Fuck, man. There we go.
Oh my god, I did so much damage to you, you fucking big motherfucker. So low on health, is it worth it? Yes, it is, because look at this. <laughs> Fuck. I, I saw BFG. I I tried to come over here. Fuck, dude. <laughs> Fuck, dude. This is nuts. <sighs> it's almost been three hours. We've done one level. One measly fucking level, man. Believe in me, thank you. Is one level. Yeah, you're right. And I don't know why that vape hit just fucking destroyed my voice. It happens. Sometimes. 
I vape too much, I smoke too much, I drink too much. But I live too much. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm getting fucked up now and I'm getting pissed off because, wow, this. What's the better option here? Homie says to kill these guys first. Okay. Fucking shit! Fuck, dude! All I did was fall off that stupid fucking edge. He's dead. So am I. Fuck. Fuck, dude, that was so close. Oh no. Oh. oh fuck. It's getting hard to stay awake, folks. I am getting drunk. Just got a little bit of wh scotch, sc whiskey, scotch, bourbon, whatever the fuck. <sighs> We're literally inching our way towards success.
Fuck. I killed the cyber demon. Finally. I have to beat this level at least. What? so tired. I need to know where to go. We gotta end this level at least. Fuck! What? Three of them? Oh my god.
What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Is that worth it though? I exited with like 80 health. Fuck a secret. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't finish the level. I tried. What what's next, man? What's next? Assassin? Oh shit. You've banished and battered your way into the heart of the Devil Hive. For a search and destroy mission. Aimed at the gatekeeper whose foul offspring is cascading to Earth. Yeah, he's bad, but you know who's worse? <laughs> Sound like a question, not I don't know. Grinning evilly, you check your gear. You're ready to give the bastard a little hell of your own making. That's some cheesy ass shit, bro. Really? What the fuck? 53 health? I love this song, though. I don't know if this is worth it. 53 health. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, fuck. Unfortunately, it's getting late and I do need to go to bed. <laughs> so we're going to try 58 health and we're going to save at... Oh, uh, shit. You got to get away. Sorry, everybody, but I am drunk as shit. And <laughs> it looks like you just entered the bone zone. Ah! No, I'm just kidding. Just, just fuck around. All right, thank you, everybody, for coming by. I hope you had a good time tonight. Um, Plutonius 2 is definitely extremely challenging, but it's very fun. We will continue the stream at a later time. Um, just go ahead and check up on the Twitter anytime you want to see when I'm streaming next. Uh, like I said, I hope you guys are having a good weekend. Stay safe, stay clean. We'll see you next time in the dungeon.